Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at the earthquake force at each level and the overturning moment. I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. Just to show you where we are in the scheme of things, we've done one and two. We've found the earthquake design category in the base shear. We're now going to be using the equivalent static force method to calculate the design earthquake force at each level and then calculate the overturning moment. So the first thing we want to do is just find out the formula. Now this is taken from section 6.3 on page 36. So if I show this to you, so we're on page 36, section 6.3 down the bottom, vertical distribution of forces, of horizontal forces. So you can see we have a formula F subscript I equals KFIV, okay? Expanded, it looks like this. This KFI is this component and the V is, is this component, okay? V is just the base shear, which we've already found. Okay, so I'm just going to write this outside the code, just a little bit bigger. So that's what we want to be finding. So the first thing, we're going to be dealing with what this is in a sec. The first thing I want to find is just this K value, okay? Now, so step one is to find the exponent K. So what we do is we go to um, over the page. We have K. So on page 37, we have K equals the exponent dependent on the fundamental natural period t1 all right so we can see that we're given a range of t1 values and k so when t1 is less than 0.5 k is 1 when t1 is greater than 2.5 k is 2.0 now we found in the previous video t1 was 0.887 okay which means t1 is between 0.5 and 2.5 so it says Linear interpolate between 1 and 2 for T1 between 0.5 and 2.5, which is our case, because K was uh, T1 is 0.887. So we need a linear interpolate. So that's pretty simple. All we do, we can just draw it up. We'll go straight to the maths. But we have the value T1 equals 0.5 corresponding to 1. So T1.5 corresponding to 1. T1 is 2.5 corresponding to 2. T1 2.5 corresponding to K equals 2. We have a T1 value of 0.887. We want to find that corresponding K value. So all we do is we find the gradient of this line as linear interpolation.